Hey boys and girls, how are you doing? I just came up on the elevator and it's time for today's big idea video. I am having a great day today and I hope you are too. If you're having a great day today, clap your hands twice and give me a thumbs up. Oh, all right, good stuff. Oh man, kids, we have been learning so many wonderful things this month about the risen king. We're learning lessons about Jesus that maybe you hadn't really thought about before. But if you're paying close attention to these lessons, it's going to help your faith in God grow stronger and stronger. Do you know God has a special, special plan for you? The best plan for your life is what he has worked out for you already in advance. He knows what he wants you to be able to do, but it's up to us to make the decision to walk in his ways instead of our own. So today's lesson is actually about something that's going to be taking place in the future. Now, there have probably been times in your life whenever you were having a friend come over to play or to come to a party or maybe to have a sleepover. Raise your hand if that's ever been your situation. Yes, of course. That's something that kids love to do, right? Having sleepovers, have friends come over to play games, having birthday parties. Oh man, that's so fun. And I don't know about you, but I can remember having those plans in place and just being so excited. I could not wait for those friends to come to my house. Well, Today, I want you to take a look at a little story that happened not too long ago with our good friend, Harriet the Horse. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, I must get this clean. Must get this clean. Oh, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to my castle. I am Harriet the Horse, and I am very, very glad that you are here. I have just returned from my campaign to Burma in quite a tizzy because I have learned that the queen is coming for a visit. So I must be working very, very hard to prepare the castle for arrival. The floors must be swept. The silver must be polished. My suit of armor needs to be de-cobwebbed. Oh, there are so many things to do. I'm so excited about having the queen come to visit me. The queen will be the most important visitor we have had in the castle since, well, since, since Count Chocula and the Earl of Sandwich came to visit at the same time. Ooh, what a party that was, let me tell you. There were sandwiches of turkey and ham and pastrami for days and a chocolate fountain. It was Epic! I just couldn't be more excited about the visit of the Queen! Oh, I wish I could spend more time talking with you, but I must continue cleaning! <laughs> wow! Oh, poor Harriet was so excited about the Queen coming over, she was getting totally stressed out! Wow, but she's got a lot of things to do before the Queen gets there, doesn't she? Well, you know what, kids? Our big idea today says the risen king is preparing a forever home. And who is that home being prepared for? He's preparing it for all of us who accept the free gift of his salvation. And guess what? As excited as we can be about having some friends come to our house, as excited as Harriet was about having the queen come to her house, Oh, our risen king is even more excited about us coming to live in heaven with him in our forever home. Wow, I can just imagine what Jesus might be doing right now to help prepare for my forever home. And you know what? He's so awesome and amazing and powerful, he can be working on all of our forever homes. Kids, the Bible tells us that Jesus is preparing a place for us. And so let's get out our Bibles right now and let's dig in and find out what that means. <laughs> 